I did not expect it to be this. This thing is huge. Longer than my arm. What the? SpongeBob Fun Edition One Piece. I got number 12,286. SpongeBob Fun Edition. $299.99 after tax. It's $303.99. Yep, I'm gonna open this the upside down method. Oh, would you look at that? They planned for me to open this upside down. Damn! This thing is huge! All of a sudden, that $338 seems slightly more worth the SpongeBob Bikini Bottom Tennis Socks. Six art prints, seven sheets of unique wall stickers. Since I'm in Canada, I got the bilingual version here. Are you ready, kids? The cult classic is back. Faithfully remade in Spongetastic Splendor. You can play as Spongebob, Patrick, and Sandy to show the evil plankton that crime pays even less than Mr. Krabs. That's funny. Want to save Bikini Bottom from lots of rampant robots with your mighty bubbles? Just buy the Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated Fun Edition for 338 Canadian dollars. Want to join forces on a brand new multiplayer mode? The battle is on. So it should include these three figures, which I am assuming now is gonna be huge with the size of this box. The smaller limited edition of this game only comes with SpongeBob, but the fun edition comes with Patrick and Sandy. And here it is on the back. This comes with a set of tiki key rings and PVC figurines with golden spatula and flexible tongue. So yeah, eight inches, a 20 centimeter height. So the yellow from what we've seen on the top is actually the bottom. And here we have SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated Fun Edition. Okay, so let's get the sleeve off. The same image. It doesn't tell you what's on the inside though. So I figured that sleeve is dependent for what console you get it from. Let's see, how do you open this? Okay, so the bottom actually opens up like this. I'm pretty sure I'm opening this upside down. Oh my god, these things are freaking huge. Okay, first of all, let's try to take Sandy out. So these um, figures basically all come in their own box, which is packed within a box, within a box. So here we have the wall stickers. I'll go through those after. Let me just get all this stuff out. And over here we have all the tiny things. That was a lot of work. Let's just get the game out of the way here. Okay, so this is the standard game that comes in the standard game case. Since I'm in Canada, we have the French at the bottom here. And no manual. And that's it. So the standard game with the disc. Next here we have the socks. Here are the rules for the socks. Pretty standard socks, nothing fancy. Nothing, nothing fancy. It says battle for bikini bottom on the top. It's a pretty plain sock design. Now these are a pair of Spongebob socks. So I basically got these in 2003 from a Canada Wonderland gift shop. Now these you can tell are Spongebob socks. So they should have uh, gave something like this with like Sandy here, Patrick and Spongebob. This, eh. Okay, so next let's, this should be the Tiki keychains. Yes, it is. Comes in this little box here. And inside is an empty sheet of sponge! Woo, nice. These are actually bigger than I expected. So here's the first keychain. Here's the second one. 2020 Viacom. Her. The third one. This one's the fourth one.
And the last but not least, the fifth one. And that's all that's inside. It's just SpongeBob material. So these are the five Tiki keychains. Nice, not bad. SpongeBob BC. So I think these are pretty much like images representing different levels. Rock bottom. Ooh. Destroyed town here. So I'm just putting them. Oh no! Well, I was gonna put them in order, but I just dropped it. So, and then here we have the wall stickers. This bag is hard to open. It's very sticky. It's a unique bag too because it has Battle for Bikini Bottom rehydrated printed on the actual bag. SpongeBob, Patrick, and the robot dude. Here we have Sandy, the Tiki, his health, more robot dude, Sandy, Spongebob, Patrick, Jellyfish, and Gary. Patrick, Spongebob on hooks. We got regular Patrick, Sandy, Spongebob, and Gary. Some more flower clouds and a jellyfish. Ooh, we have Spongebob with the golden spatula, Patrick shooting. Spongebob in the air with his water. Spongebob listening to his Walkman. Spongebob listening to a cassette player. Patrick jellyfishing. And more jellyfish. Here we have Evil Plankton. The Glove Balloons. Spongebob and Patrick. More jellyfish. Spongebob flying in the air. Ooh, finally we have a Squidward and Mr. Krabs. Gary. Plankton. This is one of my favorite pictures of Patrick and two jellyfish and the back sheet is just a piece of cardboard to help keep these stickers flat. So I will put these back in order later. And now on to the main event, the figurines. Later that same evening. Okay, so let's start with the main event, sponge bubble. Here's the front of the box, the top, the side, here's the back bottom opening him up from the top be careful I just grabbed his tongue and it's really rubbery so you can see the nice detail on the inside of the box they have a whole bunch of Spongebob drawings a whole bunch of ugly Spongebob drawings so the top here opens So once you open it up on all sides, ooh, there's a golden spatula on one of the sides here. And I just dropped it. Man, this is big and heavy. Okay, so here we have SpongeBob standing on the robot's giant head and Gary staring up at SpongeBob. He has one eyelid down. He's probably saying, oh my god, SpongeBob is not doing his victory cry. <laughs> And using creativity, they made bubbles, air bubbles, as a support to hold Spongebob up. Because look at his scrawny, skinny little legs. There's no way that is going to hold his body up. Uh-oh. It's a tight fit, and some of the paint on the bottom of the spatula just came off. But you can easily hide that by putting it up like this. So there's Spongebob holding the spatula. I'm going uh, yeah. So his tongue is just made out of very bendy rubber so that when you hit it, it shakes like this. Oh no, I just noticed I have a paint defect on his eye. Boo! I think it looks like some glue or something sticky went on his eye. So here it says manufactured by THQ Nordic Games 2020. Viacom. And yeah, that's it. So it's all one piece. Next up, so this is the back of Patrick's box. And all the other sides of the box are the same. So 
and it's similar packaging. And then open the sides. So same base with these rubber grips. These rubber grips actually work very well. And here you can see the socks. Patrick has two stinky socks on the ground. He smashed a watermelon. The clear plastic used for the watermelon guts is actually really cool. It actually looks like candy. And here's Patrick holding up a watermelon with an underwear on it. So they do have some detail. Patrick's little dots here are actually indented inside. And yeah, not too much detail going on Patrick's figure compared to Spongebob other than the watermelon guts. But Patrick is a nice solid. He actually feels solid, like he is not hollow on inside. And I'm actually surprised there's no support under his butt here. He's literally being held by just his two legs. He feels pretty solid. Hopefully over time uh, heat doesn't start to melt his legs. Okay and lastly here we have Sandy. Sandy Cheeks. So that's the back of the box. She's the same everywhere else. And now over here we have Sandy. She has a really big loop with her rope here. It's actually very flimsy, you have to be careful. This feels brittle to me and a tiny hit by mistake would crack it for sure. I'm glad that they made a crystal clear dome for her head, like an actual dome. Here they're utilizing the flower on the top of her dome to help support the rope. So she's standing on a clamshell. It's cool that they have the air bubbles here. These air bubbles feel like a softer bit of plastic and it's cool because it's see-through and it's giving you the um, little dome effect through the reflection. Got a little sand hill happening there. And here is the first tiki, a giant one sitting right behind Sandy. They printed the acorn on her underwater suit. Her tail is not attached to the tiki, but it's basically touching it. She feels really solid. Her feet are very flat, so they have a very nice mounting surface area for her. She has a zipper that looks like it's flying in the air. And yeah, this is really cool. Okay, so now I believe the, the base is slightly shaped to fit together. Like I would, I would say the curve here kind of fits with Sandy's base and the curve here kind of fits Patrick's. Yep, the bases do kind of match up like this. So here we have all three of the Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Fun Edition statues. They look very nice put together here. And I'm just gonna rotate them so you can see what they look like on the back. And this is what they all look like from behind. And tells design because the sand hill here barely hits the robot head. And it has bubbles flowing in the same direction. So that was my unboxing for the SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated Fun Edition. Pretty much this is everything you get in that edition. The mid-tier shiny edition should only give you the SpongeBob figure in the middle. The fun edition mostly comes with the bonus Patrick and Sandy. So if you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. And if you liked the video, let me know. Thanks for watching.